You're still listening to Kumbang Channel and this is KT News. The Macau Satellite Television the Macau Satellite Television Company Limited, Mass TV, is said to have defaulted on over 100 employees' wages for two to six months, legislator Lei Cheng Yi told reporters at Labor Affairs Bureau, DSAL, on Thursday, MPD reported. Lei said she was representing over 100 Mass TV staff when she filed a complaint with the Bureau about the company's non payment of salaries for two to six months. Mass TV staff started complaining in April about not receiving their salaries since February. The complaints comprised local and non-resident workers. Lay said the employees were still unsure if they would receive their pay for last month. Lay said that the total amount was still uncertain because the case included a large number of employees. She added that it was not the first time that Mass TV had failed to pay its employees. SJM Holdings said this week that it was striving to complete construction of its Grand Lisboa Palace Integrated Resort in Kotai by the end of this year and to seek the relevant licenses to begin operation as soon as possible thereafter. However, the gaming company has once again postponed the opening of the Grand Lisboa Palace, the company's first integrated resort on China's Kotai Strip, to sometime in the second half of 2020. According to previous announcements by SJM, the resort will comprise a casino, deluxe hotel, restaurants, non-gaming entertainment attractions and retail outlets. The venue was supposed to open by the end of this year but construction is now expected to be completed in March 2020 rather than the early deadline of next month, Casino Orc reported. Notice about the delay was also announced this week by SJM so lenders can approve the new time frame. In April 2018, SJM Holdings also delayed the opening date, according to a memo from analysts at Macquarie Capital Limited. The cost of delaying the opening back then from 2018 to 2019 was blamed on Typhoon Hato hitting the region in 2017 and an unrelated fire on construction site, the memo explained. The cause of the most recent delay is unclear. Once open, the 39 billion Hong Kong dollar Grand Lisboa Palace will include some 2,000 hotel rooms and suites divided among different hotel space for meetings and conferences, restaurants, entertainment space and a casino. The casino floor will accommodate up to 700 tables and 1,200 slot machines. American President Donald Trump has accused the Macau SAR and six others among the world's 10 wealthiest economists of obtaining unfair advantages in international trade after declaring themselves to be developing countries, Macau Daily Times reported on Monday. Trump tweeted to express that he was displeased about the World Trade Organization treating China, Macau and Hong Kong, among 27 other jurisdictions, as developing countries. He said that their status afforded them advantages that are intended to support underdeveloped economies only. The WTO is broken when the world's richest countries claim to be developing countries to avoid WTO rules and get special treatment. No more. Today, I directed the US Trade Representative to take action so that countries stop cheating the system at the expense of the USA, tweeted the US President. It was made on the sidelines of his actual order, which was recorded on the White House's website as a memorandum. It urges for the reform of the developing country status recognized by the WTO. There are no WTO definitions of developed and developing countries. Members announce for themselves whether they are developed or developing countries, the WTO website states. According to the body's regulations, it is legitimate for any member country to object to any other claims about its status. However, despite Trump's claim, a jurisdiction that labels itself as a developing country does not automatically benefit from unilateral trade preference schemes. Macau appears in one single reference in the White House's memorandum, which pointed out that seven of the ten wealthiest jurisdictions in the world, measured by their respective gross domestic product per capita on a purchasing power parity basis, claimed themselves as developing countries. Seven of the world's ten wealthiest economists, Trump said, claim developing nation status. Brunei, Hong Kong, Kuwait, Macau, Qatar, Singapore, and the United Arab Emirates, 
so do Mexico, South Korea and Turkey, who are all members of the Group of 20 and the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, Trump said. As of last year, Macau ranked second in the world in terms of gross domestic product per capita with 122.489 US dollars or around 990,357 patakas, just behind the Middle Eastern country of Qatar. Macau is projected to overtake Qatar as the world's richest place by 2020 on account of faster economic growth created by the gambling, the gambling industry. And for tonight's flash news, People's Liberation Army PLA Macau Garrison Commander Su Liang Chai pointed out this week that this year marks the 20th anniversary of the stationing of a garrison of the People's Liberation Army PLA in Macau, adding that the garrison has unswervingly upheld the one country to systems principle and strictly adhered to the Macau Basic Law and the Law of the People's Republic of China on garrisoning the Macau Special Administrative Region MSAR and unswervingly protected Macau's prosperity and stability. Macau's first typhoon signal number 8 this year was hosted between Wednesday and Thursday for 11 and a half hours as Typhoon Whipper passed by the city without causing major damage, unlike Super Typhoon Hato did two years ago and Super Typhoon Mankut last year. However, the typhoon did cause some floods in several parts of the city. The Macau government has proposed to set up a new permanent bureau under the Secretariat for Security in order to organize resources during natural disasters and sudden incidents, MacauBusiness.com reported. Macau's Infrastructure Development Office has approved bids submitted by seven companies for the design and construction contract for the city's fourth Macau Typer Bridge. Peter McLeaf, a British man of Macanese descent and diagnosed with myeloma, has indicated to Macau News Agency that his international campaign to reach a compatible donor has surpassed its initial 10,000 donors target and registered around 27,000 donors. However, McLeaf has yet to find a compatible donor, with his campaign now setting a new 100,000 registered donors target. Four Macau residents were barred from entering Hong Kong last Sunday and say that a clear reason was not provided by the SAR's authorities for doing so, TDM reported. Some speculated their denial might be related to their partial use of black clothing, a colour representing Hong Kong anti-extradition protesters. However, Macau's Secretary for Security as well as the Public Security Police refused to intervene or comment further on the issue, stating that they have to respect Hong Kong's immigration policies. The Macau International Airport has announced recently that it will standardise check-in time limit for all flights departing from the local airport to close 60 minutes prior to the scheduled departure time beginning from August the 5th. For music lovers, Michael Learns to Rock will perform in a concert at the Venetian's Kotai Arena on the 17th of August. For more information, contact the Venetian Macau. And as for the weather in Macau, the local weather tomorrow will be cloudy with temperature between 26 to 32 degrees Celsius. The weather for the rest of the week will be mainly cloudy with some showers. Local temperature throughout the week is predicted to range between 26 and 33 degrees Celsius. For more information about the local weather, visit www.smg.gov.mo. That's all for tonight's KT News. Getting back to our music, this is Barry Manilo with Can't Smile Without You. Continue to listen to Kumbang Channel. Kumbang, kumpul bareng yuk.